Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching Z Mix Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Max. And today, we have rules and examples for simultaneous equation. And we'll now look into some basics. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll look into basics now. So simultaneous equation is quite a basic topic, but to know it really well is really like important for the AdMax course because we'll use it a lot. So basically simultaneous equation are a set of two or more equations, each containing two or more variables whose values can simultaneously satisfy both or all the equations in the set. And the number of variables being equal to or less than the number of the equations in the set. So it's quite a wordy and a long definition. But to put in short, simultaneous equations is when there's mostly two equations with some unknowns. So like x and y, x and y, and they both equal something because it's an equation. And you can use various methods to find out the values of x and y that satisfy both equations. We'll look into some basics. There are three methods to solve simultaneous equations. There's number one, substitution. Number two, elimination, which is what we always use. And number three, and I like not really use one, but it's graph. And we're now looking into some substitution. So for substitution, let's say we have two equations as usual. We're given two equations. And number one, we have y equals x squared plus 5x minus 9. And number two, we have 4 equals x minus y. And what we would normally do is that we would like minus the top and the bottom equation to get like to cancel out a term. But that doesn't work for here because there's a square and it's like a quadratic equation. So what I can do is that I can just rearrange the second equation to get y the subject. So in this case, I will rearrange uh, 4 equals x minus y to y equals x minus 4 right here. So once I have what y in terms of y for the second equation, and the first equation is also in terms of y, that means I can equate the x minus 4, oops, that means I can equate the x minus 4 equals x squared plus 5x uh, minus 9. So it will be like x minus 4 equals x squared plus 5x minus 9. And I will have two values of x right here. And you can find the, cons like the consequent y values for both like values of x. So it will be like y equals something, y equals something. And this substitution method will work really well when you have a quadratic equation and a linear equation where there's not a quadratic. Then we have some more basics. We have elimination, which is what we typically use. So elimination is where there are two like this like same term, or you can force to be to have the same term. So we have equation one and two. So in both both equations, there's the same term of three x. So we can just minus 3s to get like something, y something, then equals something, then find y and find x. So of course we can use substitution, like we can just do like 3x equals 8 minus 2y, and just put it here, 8, oops, then you can put it here, 8 minus 2y, but it'll be quite pointless because you can just minus both equations together for a more straightforward and faster answer. And number three, we have graph, which is not we typically use. But basically, graph and this uh, app is called Desmos, and you all should use it because it's quite useful for spot, for like plotting graph. So when we have two equations, we have two x plus three y equals seven, number one, and three x minus four y equals two, number two. We can plot those two graphs into a graph. We can plot this, those two equations into a graph to find the point of intersection. So in this case, it's this point right here. 2, 1. That means that 2, 1 is a solution. Because in simultaneous equation, when you equate both equations together, you're basically finding where they both intersect because you're trying to find the common point that both have for a specific value. So basically, if you have like, let's say 2x equals 1, sorry, 2x minus 1 equals 3x plus 2, and when you solve for x, you're basically finding the x value which are common in both equations and that the both equations intersect that x value. And lastly, here's an example for simultaneous equation. So we have y squared plus 2x, uh, 2x plus 3 squared equals 10. And number 2 is 2x plus y equals 1. 
So what I can do is that I can just substitute, uh, sorry, I can just rearrange the equation to use the substitu substitution method. So the second equation would be 2x equals 1 minus y. And then you can substitute the 2x by 2x. So it will be y squared plus the 2x will be 1 minus y. 1 minus y plus 3 squared equals 10. Rearrange the equation to get y squared plus 4 minus y squared equals 10. Then expand the bracket to get y squared plus 16 minus 8y plus y squared equals 10. And therefore it will be 2y squared minus 8y plus 16 equals 10. So we can rearrange the equation. Let's just write the top out here. Rearrange the equation to get um, 2y squared minus 8y plus 6 equals 0. And we can further simplify this first by dividing everything by 2. So let's just do that. It will be y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0. So now you have to factorize the equation to get two values of y because it's a quadratic equation. So let's just write this out. And the two values of y, let's just factorize it first. It will be y minus 1 and y minus 3 equals 0. And therefore the y values would be y equals 1 and y equals 3, like so. And let's drop the top out. So once you have two values for y, you have to find the values for x that corresponds to that y. So x equals something, y equals 1, and x equals something, y equals 3. Let's put it in the second equation because it's much easier. So 2x plus 1 equals 1. But, uh, minus both set by 1, it will get us 2x equals 0, so x equals 0. For number 2, y, uh, 2x plus 3 equals 1, and 1 minus 3 will get us minus 2, and minus 2 divided by 2 will be minus, minus 1. So like so. So these are two possible values. When x is 0, y is 1, and when x is minus 1, y will be 3. And that's it. And now we have question 2. We have two equations as usual. 2x plus 3y equals 7, and 3x minus 4y equals 2. So we'll use elimination for this method, uh, for this like, question. So I could eliminate the x. So I have to times the top by 3, which, is, which will be 2 times 3 is 6, x plus 9y equals 21. Like so, you times by 3. Like so. And from the second equation, I could times everything by 2. I times by 2. It will be 6x minus 8y equals 4. And minus everything by each other. So it will be 6x minus 6x, which is just 0. And 9 minus minus 8, which is 9 plus 8, or 17x. Sorry, 17y. And 21 minus 4 will get us 17. And therefore, from this, we can know, we know that y equals 1. y equals 1. And the corresponding x value would be, let's just use the first equation, 2x plus 3y equals 7. We know y equals 1, so it will be 2x plus 3 equals 7. And 7 minus 3 will be 4. And 4 divided by 2 will be 2. Therefore, when x is 2, y is 1. And that's it. And that's it for this quick video for rules and examples for simultaneous equation. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any feedbacks or constructive criticisms about my channel or YouTube or like any website, just show that in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media links in the description, for example, you, uh, LinkedIn or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, just check out my website in the description or you can type it up in your browser at www.umixeasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be questions for simultaneous equation. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.